Okay, students, what we're going to look at today is in this podcast, we are going to get a handle of the pen tool. <clears throat> so the pen tool, I think, is one of the most difficult tools in Illustrator. And I think once you can do the pen tool, you can do anything. So that's good. Okay, so we come back into Illustrator and we have some exercise files that we will begin with. Now, we look at our pen tool. Our pen tool is on our toolbar. Again, we get this little um, triangle at the bottom and it's a tear off. So we come and we tear it off just like we're tearing off a sheet of paper out of a binder. Now, um, here are some exercise files. Uh, and <clears throat> what we want to note is when we begin to work with the pen tool, whenever we're starting a path, we begin with an anchor point. Okay, and whenever we're working with the pen tool and we're starting a new path, we will get this X. So we can see this X right here. So this first exercise, I'm just going to click. I'm not holding down my mouse. I am click on this next anchor point. I click right here. I click right here. I click right here. I click right there. Now, in order to move it, if I was to click here, uh-oh, see my my um, path is still activated. So I need to deselect it. So I can deselect it, come over that way again. I can come up to select um, and deselect when something is selected too. And now I can move this path down. Okay, so that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now let's look at this one more time and we'll leave this guy right here. And we'll come, we'll grab our pencil. Again, we're going to start a new path and I know I'm beginning a new path because I get that X. I'm going to click, 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 click. Now let's say that I come off here and I start doing something else. Do do do, you know, I'm working on something else and I have this started. Now I want to re restart my path again. But look, when I come to click here, now it's starting a new path, okay? So how do I connect these two? Well, pretty easy actually what you do is you come and you hover around this point okay until you get this back this slash I guess that's a forward slash and then we click that now we have reactivated it and we know that we actually have reactivated it because when we zoom in we can see that our little dots have white holes that are opening them and this last one has a red closed one okay so again it's reactivated we come we click we click all right and we can make this line a little bit longer if we'd like let me turn off the fill we have um, our ink our our stroke okay let's just work with the stroke all right so we can take this and we can move this down Okay, <clears throat> all right, so let's take a look at another thing. We're just working real simply with these little points. Let's say that we wanted to move one of these points. Well, same thing that we looked at in our earlier podcast. We could just take our white arrow and we could select one of our points and then we could alter and move one of our points as we needed to. Okay, let's move on to our next exercise, and we want to look at how we can draw straight lines. Again, we know we're beginning a path because we get that X. In order to draw straight lines, we just want to hold down the shift. We can click, click. All right, so when we hold down the shift, um, we get a straight line. Okay, now you ask, well, that's not a straight line. We also can get uh, 45 degree angle lines. So we can hold down and we'll get these perf we'll get 45 degree angles and straight lines. Okay? Makes sense, pretty easy. All right, let's move on to our next one. We just did this one. Let me close this. Okay, we just did this one. Let's close this. And let's come to this one. So now this is what you'll be using the pen tool for quite a bit. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and see what we have. So we start with the pen tool. <clears throat> now let's turn our stroke up. Let's make our stroke a little bit bigger. Let's make it three points and then we'll really see it. And I'm going to say to turn the fill off because what you'll see if I have the fill on, let me just show you what happens. And as you begin to work, you might find that um, if we have the fill on and we start, uh oh, and that's, I made a point over there. So that's connecting over there and we start to work, we might find 
that it will start to pour in a fill. Well, a lot of times it will as we start to move. So let's turn, um, let me see if I'll get a, oh, it's not giving it to me, of course it's not. But let's turn the fill off, okay? Turn the stroke on. Um, we're gonna make the stroke a little bit bigger. Let's go up a little bit more. All right, so <clears throat> now that we are um, working on a curve, we wanna work with this thing called handles, okay? So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna hold down my mouse, and I'm gonna drag out a handle. Okay, now this handle ends in this direction and what it's telling the pen tool, it's informing the pen tool that my curve is moving in this direction. Now, this is definitely something you have to play around with and really get the feel for. So I'm gonna click down right here and I'm going to pull this handle up. Okay, so then we can click, we can move this off, click off, and there we have that. Okay, let's do this one more time, because I think this is actually a little bit tricky. Um, now, what you want to note is that the handles do not print. They are just tools that you use to manipulate the, the, the lines that you make with the pen tool. So again, we click, we pull our mouse out, we pull out a handle, click, we pull this out. Okay, we take our just selection tool, we move this over. Now, let's just look at if we were to do it the opposite way and sometimes we might say oh if we pull our handle out in this direction and then we come this way up see what happens see how this is coming out in this direction okay but that's not what we want we want to pull it out in this direction right to here and I think this probably makes sense to you now all right let's come down here and let's do another one so again we know we're starting a new anchor point we click we pull our handle out in the direction that our curve is moving we click we pull our handle out in the direction that it is moving. We click, we pull our handle out in the direction that it is moving. We click, we pull our handle out. Oh, mine's getting a little messy there. I can come back in and fix it. We click, we pull it out in the, hand, in the direction that it is moving. Okay, we click, we pull it out in the direction it's moving. Now, we can come back um, and, you know, see how we get these handles so I could even you know, play around with this, try to get this to line up a little bit better, okay, and uh, we'll leave it at that. Moving right along, let's come to our next one that we have, and things begin to get a little bit trickier. Let's take a look here. Okay, so here what we're seeing is that we have these lines that are, the before our lines were all moving around more in a clear path. Here we're having sharp turns. Okay, so what do we do when we need to make that sharp turn? Well, what we'll need to do is we'll need to change the orientation of our handle. So we click, we pull out, we click, we pull down here. Now, <clears throat> let's see if I was to come right to here. Uh-oh, that's not what I want. Start again. Okay, so I click, pull my arrow up, my handle up, click, pull my handle down. Right now I need to change the orientation. I need to pull this handle up in this direction. So I hold down the option key, I take my handle, I pull it up, I come back to my pen, same thing, hold down my option key, I get this little um, like V thing, I click, I pull down, I hold down the option key, again, I change the orientation, I pull down, oopsie, Okay, hold down the option key, pull this up, and we end like that. Okay, so again, we can change the orientation of our arrow by holding down option. Now, we also can see this is the tool that we're working with, and it's called the Convert Anchor Point Tool. If we review the tools that we have on our uh, with our pen tool, we have just the plain old pen tool, we have the add an anchor point, and we have the delete an anchor point. So those are those are good to know and to always remember that um, Illustrator very much the whole thing is really based on if we make if we just simplified Illustrator, it's very much based on anchors and paths. And here we're creating anchors and we can delete anchors and then when we from what the, the a path is the point from one anchor to another. All right, let's go on to this one. Now here we have curves moving into straight lines. So how does this one work? Well, we click, we pull up our handle, we click, we pull down our handle. Now let's see if I was to come over here. Oh, see that doesn't work. 
All right, so what I'm going to do instead is I need to actually get rid of the handle altogether. So how do I do that? Well, I come on in here. If I click my point, it's gone. Okay, I just went in, I clicked my point, and it was gone. I hold down Shift. I got my straight line. Now, now I'm going from a straight line to a curved line, so I need to pull out a handle. So I'm going to, I could come grab this tool, but I'm going to learn the keyboard shortcut. I'm going to hold down Option, and I'm just going to, oh, okay. It's saying I didn't hit it right in the right spot. Sometimes when you get those, you're not hitting it in the right spot. Okay, so I'm going to hold down Option, pull out a handle. I'm going to click, connect. I'm going to come right to here, get rid of that, hold down Shift for my straight line, hold down Option, pull out my handle, hold down and click, and there we have it. Voila! Okay, so this is our practice. Moving right along, going to get rid of that. This one. Okay, now what we could do is you could actually go through now and follow. This is a whole exercise, and we can see what's cool about this exercise file. Uh, and this exercise is actually from Adobe Classroom in a Book. They have some really, Adobe really has some wonderful products um, that can be used that are just really, really, really great actually. Um, now, I want to show you something else that's pretty cool. So you've noticed um, that when I get my pen tool, that when I am drawing here and, you know, when I'm coming in here and drawing, my line is red. Now, that's because on my layer, see how this is red, okay? If I was to create a new layer and come onto this layer, okay, and click off here and grab my pen tool, you'd see now that it is green. See that right there? Now, you can always change this too by double-clicking the layer and changing the color if you'd like to. Now, sometimes you will do that because the color that you're working with might be disturbed by the color that's underneath it. So this is an exercise file. Um, and again, it's through Adobe Classroom Book. And it's a great exercise to do if uh, you want to um, practice this. And Adobe actually also has a finished uh, one of this. For students who are in my class, I will make this project available on Blackboard, but I did say that, you know, these podcasts are open to anyone who wants to learn uh, Illustrator and wants to take the time to listen.